you're still watching why? You're still paying attention why? You think they're treating the new supply any better? They're not. They don't have, they don't have the mental capacity to be able to do that. They just don't. You're watching. You're paying attention. You're searching their social media. You're keeping up with the narcissists for what reason? What is it that you're missing? The illusion? The facade? It was never really real. You never dated an actual person. You were never married to an actual person. You were never in a real relationship. The whole time you were in a situationship, haven't you noticed yet? They are not a real person. They cannot give you anything that's going to soothe you, that's going to be good for you. Narcissists are not there to give, only there to take. So what is it that you're jealous of the new supply for? Because guess what? Just like you found out, they're going to find out. What do you think the narcissist actually wants from you? To destroy you, that's it. They seek to destroy. They're not there to build you up. They don't want, they don't want the things that you want. They don't want any good, anything good out of a relationship. Narcissists don't get into relationships. It's not possible. It's the facade that you're thinking about. You're ruminating over someone who never existed. Imagine that. That's all that it is. Be glad that it's them and not you. And I hate to put it in those terms, but this is the truth. Would you rather be in their shoes? You want someone to come back gaslighting you, manipulating you, talking crazy to you, treating you like trash, keeping you stuck on a hamster wheel? Narcissists want everyone to be just like them. They're stuck. The hell that they created for you is the one that they're stuck in. Y'all, you can't make this stuff up. You just can't. It doesn't make sense. Nothing about a narcissist makes sense. So when you're sitting there watching their social media and you're following them and you're trying to find out what's going on and who's the new person, what do you really want to see? The illusion that they're showing you? These unpaid Hollywood stars are putting on an act for you. That's what they're doing. They know that you're still watching, especially if it's still fresh and the discard hasn't been that long. They feel like they know that you're still watching, y'all. They know these things. You're still tapped into their energy. You haven't broken the trauma bond. And they know that you're watching them from afar. And guess what? They're going to give you a good show. They're going to make sure you think that they're living the life of Raleigh and you're sitting back paying attention to this. You're going to believe this. You're still under this spell. At some point, you have to stop watching, y'all. It's not real. I was in your shoes. I know exactly how you feel. I wonder who they're with, what they have going on, if they're treating them better. Oh, my God, they've been together this long. Y'all, it's all fake. It's not real. I can't stress that enough. When y'all DM me and say things like, they're still together. It's been four or five years. Y'all, I feel for y'all because I'm like, did you forget how they treated you? Who cares how long they're with somebody else? Did you forget what they've done to you? Have you forgotten? Pull yourself out of it. It was not real. It was not real. It was not real. It was never going to get real. It was never going to be real. Listen, it was actually finished before it ever got started. And this is something that I think that we all tend to miss. It was done when it started. You were another passerby in the narcissist's pathetic life. That's all that you were to the narcissist. It was never a real relationship. You were in the biggest facade of your life. I can guarantee you that much. And as long as you're sitting back, paying attention, watching, just keeping up with the narcissist is the wrong thing to do. Because the picture that they're going to paint for you are going to have you totally stuck and stagnated. You will not be able to move on thinking that this person is treating somebody better than they treated you. It's not real. They can't treat someone better than they treated you. Y'all, a narcissist don't even know how to treat themselves, let alone somebody else. These people abuse themselves. So how could they not abuse everyone else around them? This is what they do. A narcissist lives one miserable, pathetic existence, and that's just all that it is. It will not get better. It can't get better because they can't get better. They are suffering from a disorder that cannot be cured. A disorder who blocks everything and makes them feel that they are flawless. And God knows that they're not flawless. They're far from that, right? They are the worst people on planet Earth. But guess what? They're stuck. They're cut off from all things that are good. They're cut off from God. And at some point, you have to say this and understand that there's nothing that they can offer you. And if you're sitting back paying attention to the narcissist, 
you are going to stay stagnated, believing everything that they show you. At some point, you got to get tired. At some point, you have to say, you know what? This person mistreated me. I know they're doing it to somebody else. Listen, be glad that it's them and not you. You just have to be. Be thankful you were able to get up and walk or run away from the situation and that you won't ever return. They don't have anything good to offer you. That's just it. That's just what it is. It's time you see it for what it really is. Stop paying attention to the illusion that they're showing you because that's all that this is. You were never with a real person. Y'all overlook this so much, wondering about the new supply, looking at the new supply, paying attention to this person that they've probably been with two or three times before you. Because a lot of times, they go back to people that they've already been with. People who are just waiting for the narcissist to come running back, going through the abuse all over again, stuck in that harem, stuck in that cycle, and cannot get out. And that's just what it is. People don't understand that they're dealing with the narcissist, and by the time they find out, it's way too late. Let them go. When I get DMs from y'all saying they've been together four and five years, they're still together, and they seem like they're doing great, and I, in my mind, I'm like, why are you still watching these people? Why are you watching this? It's not real. They are suffering from a really severe disorder. They can't treat anybody any better than they treated you. And if they're with someone longer, like I've said in the video before, it's because of why. This person has not figured it out yet. Or you got to enjoy being abused. I'm going to just have to go ahead and settle with that. You can't make this stuff up. If you're going to be with a narcissist and know their behavior, do you just enjoy being abused? Would you rather be with this person and let them tear you down just to have them around? Because remember, they're still not around. They're just there using you for whatever they can get from you. This is the only thing that they're doing to you. Narcissists use you till they can't use you anymore. And then they leave you all alone to your own devices to go pick yourself up, dust yourself off, rejuvenate yourself, and then what happens? They try to return to do it all over again. Tell me you don't want that. Let's talk about it. Tell me that that's not something that you really want to happen. We don't want these individuals in our lives. We don't want them to hang around. We want them to press on and listen. Go be with anybody but us. This is how I felt about the narcissist. I don't care what you go do. As long as you're not doing it to me, I don't care. Go where you want as long as I'm not with you. Do what you want as long as I'm not there. I don't care. I don't want to see you. I don't want to hear from you. Listen, you have to block that narcissist on everything. Cut them out of your life. Cut them off because guess what? Whatever crack or crevice you leave open is a way for them to abuse you. Whether you think so or not. And if you're still pining for the narcissist, I feel for you. Because what you're doing is pining for them to abuse you. And now you're giving them a helping hand. It's time to say, you know what? I know what this is. I know what you're going to do to me. I know what you want. Been there, done that. I'm not doing it anymore. I am out. You have to get to this place. It's not going to stop. It isn't. Stop watching the facade. Stop playing the game. Stop waiting for them to come back. It's only going to be worse. I just wanted to share that with y'all. Y'all DM me and ask me questions all the time about staying with these people, about keeping them around, about they're happy with somebody else. Y'all narcissists are not happy. Happy people don't do what narcissists do. They just don't. It's not a happy situation. They don't love you. They can't. They never did and they never will. And the same thing goes for the new supply. I don't care how much longer they stay with this new person or this old person. It's never going to get better. They don't get better, not even with time. They actually get a whole lot worse. We have these conversations, y'all, all the time. I tell y'all this. I like y'all to understand that what you're doing to yourself is not fair. It's not right. You have to get to a point where you understand this person was actually trying to take me out. They want, they want me out of here. They hate my existence. This person hates me. And that's what it is. The narcissist dislikes everything about you. This is why they did what they did to you. Okay? I have to excuse the background, y'all. I got birds everywhere just making noise. They always want to talk when I'm making videos. But you guys, listen. It's, it, it's not going to get any better. I can guarantee you that much. Y'all have to understand that. 
You have to stop watching the illusion. It wasn't real. The narcissist is not a real person. When you possess the spirit of narcissism, you are led by a spirit, y'all, a very evil spirit. And narcissists are loaded with legions of evil spirits. Understand that. You're not dealing with the person when you're dealing with the narcissist. A lot of y'all don't want to see it that way. But guess what? What I told you before, you may not believe in the evil that possesses a narcissist, but it believes in you. Okay? That's it for this video, you guys. Until next time.